help. Um, just just my sort of third or fourth time out on it for a spin now, um, and I've just been getting the feeler of it. Real lovely back road bike. There is a couple of little niggly things that I'll say there. Um, you'll have just watched a video. I'll put it in now of where it's kind of real comfortable on them back roads. Now, bear in mind, it's very slippy here at the minute because we've had so much rain. Um, at the end, you will have seen me just riding up this hill here. Um, and if we go over and look at it, you'll see there that it goes down. It probably looks nothing on the camera at the end of the day. Um, maybe, you know, a rock would display kind of how steep it is. It's steep enough, like you go up that now and on an enduro bike, 300 or something, but a uh, straight line up. But the corner here is very tricky with the route and it goes up. Um, it kind of hard to show elevation in it. Um, at the same time, would you get a T7 up that? Um, I've rode experts for a long time in Enduros. I probably would. Um, no, nope, like handy enough in fairness as well, but I wouldn't like to drop it there where, you know, um, I've done Romaniacs and things like that. So I'm quite, um, familiar with it but yeah so that's a nice sort of sweeper turn quite steep and um, i don't know if there's any way to give you an, justify an angle on that there's straight down onto the road and you see there so that's straight down there you wouldn't walk off that edge because you'd be six foot drop so you can see there it comes up and around twists and goes up and around and you can see there the alp just um chugged up it you know uh, i have to say <laughs> kind of impressed um with how easy it got up that so we go back to the video anyway of the alp Alp. Um, I would say it's not a bike for everyone um, but at the same time it suits me. I don't want something big and um, terribly expensive like I don't want something on that 14 grand range. I just won't get the use out of it. I do more enduro racing and stuff like that than I do of trail riding. At the same time I want something to go down to the shop so I want something to go off on a day out. I want to go to a bit of adventuring and looks cool i think it is anyway so suits me um off-road tires tires i found out onto a motorway got to about 110 kilometers and there's balancing they definitely need balancing uh, i don't know how good mv rubbers are to balance but um i'll give it a go um tires definitely need balancing because they got very wobbly at 110 kilometers uh 100 kilometers sits perfect 110 wheels need balancing 
but I reckon you could sit at 110 comfortably. Uh, pushed it on to 120, but there was just too much of a, a force with the wheels being unbalanced. Uh, what's annoying me there with the minute, I don't know if you see it there, these three um, tabs coming out of the engine. They're too big. Um, and the reason why I say that is because when I'm doing the bit of off-roading, and my foot likes to come off the foot peg, and when I go back down, you can see there, my foot's kind of catching it. And I don't like that. So what I would say is, I would like, I, I would change that out and put shorter ones on it. I don't know why they're, you know, made them so long, but I put shorter ones. People are going on that, well, one person said that there's, it's a bit much going on here. I could very easily see a company coming up with an aftermarket protector to come up the side here. And be so simple because your mountain points are here and here. So I could definitely see that. Um, ABS is bugging me because I don't like ABS. And one of the reasons for that is, is that you can disable it by turning it on, flicking over the switch, holding the ABS button, and you'll see that starting to blink. And when it slows down and let go, that's your ABC or your ABS changed. However, when I change it back to the road setting and back to off-road, the original setting kicks in, so your ABS is back engaged. And that's really bothering me um, because the ABS is just a wrecked ahead. Moving on from the ABS annoyance, not um, is the, I just don't like the shape of the mirrors. I prefer round, round ones, but that's me. And the switch for the light is a little bit annoying. Um, that's just me as well. I actually think the cluster they have for the Enduro models is actually better than this um, in terms of functionality. Um, it just, to me, it seems easier to to get to. But considering they have new switches and all, that's just what it is. Um, other than that though, no, it's, it's, it's riding lovely. The light is small, but it's actually kind of functional. Um, yeah, you might want to upgrade if you do a lot of night riding. For me, it's just a matter of getting home, so it doesn't bother me. Um, and yeah, that that's kind of um, it for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spin. I'll just put a picture of it or a video of it recording, um, just a bit on the spin, and you'll get a feeler for it.
I should not really do this. 